In this screencast, we're going to take a look at how to export images from Aperture directly to Mail. Now, thanks to the tight integration between Aperture and OS X, it's really easy to send images directly from Aperture to Mail. We could also do this in the Mail client, but we're going to take a look at how to do this in Aperture right now. So the first thing I want to do is I want to pick some images. In this case, I'm going to choose this image here, this image, and this image. So now I have three images that I want to send to somebody. Two quick ways that I can do this. The first way that I can do this is I can come up underneath the toolbar here and I can click on email. And thanks to the tooltip here, you can see that I can also hit option E. And option E is my shortcut to send something in mail. Before I do that, though, I'm going to bring up the preferences because our preference selection here determines how these messages will be attached in email. So when I bring up the preferences, I'm looking at the export tab in the preferences. And underneath the export tab, I can see email images using, and it says mail. And it says email export preset. And right now I have it set to small. That's because the last time I sent somebody some images, I wanted them to get very small thumbnails. Aperture comes with a number of pre built in presets for exporting files, and you can use any of them as your attachment. So I'm going to click on this drop down menu. You'll see that we've got a, a number of the preset ones here, but I've also made a couple of my own up here. I had one for BH at 400 pixels, that's for a website that required something at 400 pixels wide. But we have the email small, email medium, email original size, and the email 70% size. Now you can go through and you can customize any of those. Uh, I'm not going to delve into it now, but if I click the edit button, we'll see over here is the complete list of all the presets that are available. And on this side are all the settings for the preset. So in this particular case, I can see that the small JPEG file is fit within 640 by 640, which means that the longest size will be 640 at 72 dots per inch. The medium size here will be fit within 1024 by 1024, and I've set it to add a watermark to my files. That's so people won't be able to copy my files without seeing my copyright notice. So I'm going to click OK at this point. So I'm going to email the medium size JPEG. I'm going to close out of my preferences here, and now I'm simply going to hit Option E. And when I hit Option E, you'll notice down here uh, in Aperture that the program is exporting. And now mail opens up and I've got my images attached. If you notice down here in the bottom left corner, it says message size is 3.7 meg. That tells me that these three files combined equal 3.7 megabytes. But I also have the ability here to choose the size of the images. And so in this case, it's considering the